हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर सौरभ पटवर्धन फ्रॉम नंदादीप आई हॉस्पिटल पीजी जी टीचिंग इंस्टीट्यूट एंड फेको एस आई सी एस ट्रेनिंग सेंटर सांगली महाराष्ट्र इंडिया इन आवर सेंटर वी हैव लॉट ऑफ टीचिंग एक्टिविटीज विच इंक्लूड्स हैंड्स ऑन ट्रेनिंग एज वेल In this video I'll be discussing a case of post toric IL refractive error and how to solve this issue. So this was the case uh, this was the IL power measurement done before the surgery and uh, which in the hindsight I noted that this patient had very high anterior chamber depth you can see it's almost 4 mm in both the eyes. The power was calculated using the Barrett TK toric calculator and it was giving 1 degree as the IL axis where I have to implant this IL. Patient has opted for a trifocal so I am going to use a toric trifocal IL in this case. So I chose toric tridiff which is a toric trifocal IL. On patient's third week post of visit it was noted that and also patient complained that right eye vision is quite less as compared to the left eye and we noted that there is high cylinder which is left in fact it was more than what was in the keratometry that means the IL must have rotated now how to fix this problem so I its first thing is to measure the exact IL axis at present where the IL is sitting so I use this combination of iToric Patwadhan Android app which is freely available on Play Store and the UV sort of retroillumination mode to take the photograph and then here you can see in the image that 51 degrees the IL axis. You can also use slit lamp imaging for that matter. And now these values are entered uh, on this website astigmatismfix.com. You can see I have entered 51 degrees axis of the current IOL and then the refraction which was done post operatively. It is important to note that unless spherical equivalent is closer to zero, we will not be able to fix this problem just by rotation. So here once these values are entered it will this website will calculate with the algorithm and will tell you the exact ideal position of the IOL. So here it shows 176 degree should be the axis which is close to the 1 degree axis which was preoperatively determined. So basically the IOL has rotated to 51 degrees from that intended axis of placement and uh, one reason for this uh, rotation can be that big anterior chamber depth and probably a bigger bigger bag in this particular eye. So now I have to fix this. This is a hydrophilic trifocal IOL with plate haptic design and this is four weeks after the surgery so I can open the previous incision it's quite easy. After opening the incision I'll be putting intracameral xylocaine and uh, after that I'll be using cohesive viscoelastic devices so there is no need to use dispersive agents here so here I am using 1% halonate but you can also use 1.4% and now the first thing is to separate this IOL from the capsule and uh, being a hydrophilic IOL it's much easier because it doesn't really stick to the capsule but still we have to be very careful because there can be area of fibrosis around the IOL where the anterior and posterior capsule are fused together. It is more common as the time goes by. So you have to be careful even if it is a hydrophilic IOL to inflate the bag with hyaluronate which is a cohesive OVD and uh, release this uh, IOL from the capsule. So it should be free of the capsule here. The advantage of cohesive OVD is also that you can uh, remove it very quickly once the rotation is done and there is no OVD left. So that allows the IL to stick. So rotation of the IL is quite easy when it is made free of the bag. So uh, you can see that I have added 176 as the final axis of placement and now the IL is properly placed and OVD has been all aspirated. And this is immediately post-op again using the iToric app and uh, taking the image from the autorefractometer. You can see that now the axis is 172 degree where the IL is resting which is just 4 degrees of what I intended which was 176 which is fine. 
and I hope the position stays as it is in the post operative period. Patient came back uh, in the post operative visit. He missed the first appointment, but he came back after a month, and I was uh, nicely surprised to see that he was doing very well now with uh, very good vision, uncorrected vision, and very less residual cylinder in the right eye uh, in which I had uh, re rotated the toric IL. And patient was extremely happy with the result and uh, I was also quite relieved. So uh, in toric IELTS we occasionally do get uh, these errors because of the rotation of the IL but I think it's very easy to fix that. So I would advise you not to uh, avoid re-rotation and just go for it if there is a significant residual refractive error and the website like astigmatismfix.com will help you in calculating where you should be placing the IL. So thank you so much for watching my YouTube videos and do subscribe. Thank you.